There's a number of things I found that can now go in compost in the organics that previously went in the trash. So some great examples are any paper-based products that used to store food. So for example, I've got this little ice cream container. Um, it had a plastic ring around the lid, which would need to go in the trash still, but the rest of the container can now go in the compost. Um, similarly, paper cups um, that have coffee or other beverages, those can go in them. Uh, if they've got a lid that's not compostable, the lid can't go in the compost, but some places do have compostable plastic lids as well. Um, there's other food wrap paper, so this is from some cheese, and it's a, a little bit of a waxier paper, but it is, um, it's not something I could put in the recycling, but it is something that can go in the compost now. Similarly, um, this is a tissue for like around a roll of toilet paper, but there's like gift wrap tissue that's a lower grade paper and isn't good for the recycling, so that can go in the compost. Um, small, funny little things. We got a toothpick here. This can go in there. Same thing with like your paper-based Q-tips. Um, not the ones with the plastic, but ones that are paper, those can go in there. Uh, and then this is a bread bag that I would, it's, pro it's pretty clean, so I would actually probably put it in my recycling, but if it had some food stain from whatever was in it, these bags that would uh, typically end up need to go in the trash can now go in the compost as well. And then the last one that most people are probably familiar with is egg cartons. So the paper-based egg cartons can't be recycled, but you can put them, um, some people put them in their backyard compost, but these can now definitely go in the curbside organic collection as well. If I'm doing a sandwich and I wanna um, put this nice core of this pepper in, in the organic bin instead of in the trash, this item can go right in the bin. I've used all of the eggs for the week and this egg carton um, can't be recycled, so that can also go right in the bin. And typically, as you all know, the bacon grease can't go in the, down the drain um, and a lot of people will put it in the trash, but this can go also in your organic bin, so you can scrape that in there. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some items that still can't go in your organic waste bin. So first of all, um, any paper items like plates, they can go in there. Unfortunately, anything that's styrofoam still needs to go in the trash. Similarly, we have plastic silverware. Um, there are certain products that are certified, certified compostable that can go in your organic waste bin, but any of the traditional plastic silverware still need to go in the trash. Similarly, most straws, all of our straws here, with the exception of a few paper straws, all the plastic straws need to go in the trash. So anything with hot or cold drinks, those will go in the trash. And speaking of beverages, the lids I have here are both um, not compostable. So we got a hot lid and a cold lid, and these would also both not go in your organic waste bin. The paper wrapper for the straw can still be recycled or go in the compost, but the straw itself needs to go in. So another thing that we've been trying to do as we've started doing organics waste collection is trying to think of things that we can keep out of the trash. So one example, um, when I'm packing my lunch here, I've got some cookies. Instead of using a plastic bag that would probably end up in the trash, I can use a re reusable bag. Um, there's lots of great reusable items. This is one example um, of a reusable snack bag. Similarly, when you're storing food, instead of using plastic bags, there's great glass or plastic options that are reusable and don't need to end up in the trash. We found these great black, nice thin little bins that we've decided are all the trash. So the black means the trash. In other parts of the house where we know it's gonna be a lot of like facial tissues or other organic things, I have either white bins or other kind of nicer garbage cans, designs, flowery, whatever. If you don't have room for more than one bin in a particular space, like a bathroom or an office or your bedroom, there are some other options. One example would be, uh, the city has given us these nice little bags and some people will take the organic bag 
and put it in the trash bin, but not all the way around. And you can use something like a heavy binder clip or some sort of a clip to clip it onto the edge. So then you still can put your trash items down into the bin, but then you can put your like facial tissues and those paper-based Q-tips or things like that here in the organic bin. So in our house, we found that using the larger bags from the City of St. Louis Park was the better option for us to collect our organic waste in the house. So I have this bin, a 13 gallon bin, in the kitchen that I use those larger bags with. Some people may not have that space in their kitchen. So there are a lot of really great options. There's our bins you can buy, like this little guy that works really well with the smaller bags from the city. Or you can even use things like yogurt containers or Martha cookies from the state fair, one of those buckets are work really great as well. So there are a lot of different options depending on what works well for your kitchen. So I'm gonna show you now how to tie the organics bag. I have mine with a lid um, for the odor so it doesn't cause any problems. And um, as I pull the bag out here, you can see it's only about two thirds full, which is what I recommend. So then you have an easier time untying it. And what I do is try to kind of get things down toward the bottom, squeeze out a little bit of the air, and just do an overhand knot. Nice and nice and tight. Another option if your bag is a little fuller um, and you can't do the overhand knot, if you roll the top down a little bit, so you have a nice closed um, top, and then you can bring these two end pieces together and tie them and do a couple overhand knots. 